Is it okay to use a different job title than what you were formally given in your role? As a hiring manager, I wanted to give my thoughts on what I think about that practice. So let's get to it. So this question stems from a Reddit post that I came across. The context had to do with a data analyst who was seeking data scientist roles. And while their official title was data analyst, really they were doing data scientist work. So in order to get more visibility in the job market, they put out the question of whether it was okay for them to change their job title in their resume to data scientist. Why does that matter? Well, when companies are seeking out applicants for the jobs that they have posted, they typically use some kind of applicant tracking system. And all that is, it's just a software platform that companies use to identify candidates with the right set of requirements for the job postings that they have. And of course, it does many other things as far as you know, getting interviews scheduled, moving them along in the process. But within the context of simply finding candidates, these systems help them do that. And what's important to note is that it allows companies to do this at scale. And in the job market that we're in today, you could have hundreds or north of a thousand applicants for any given role. So a company needs a simpler way to filter through all the candidates. So in this case, if a company is hiring for a data scientist role, they're going to specify in the ATS to focus on candidates where data science or data scientists might have been a prior work experience. Of course, every company is going to approach this a little differently. Someone looking for data scientists may also know to look for data analysts, data engineers, but some may be very specific with their requirements and simply look and filter for data scientists. Now, obviously that can filter out candidates that may otherwise be legitimate contenders for this type of role. And that's kind of the drawback, especially for the applicants that are out there where you might get filtered out. All that to say, while having the exact right job title in your resume isn't the most important element of your job application, it does matter to some extent. So if that matters, what kind of flexibility, if any, do you have when it comes to the job title that you put in your resume? It's a tough question because job titles can mean different things in different industries, different companies. For many roles, there isn't a 100% consensus on definitions. Data analyst and data scientist is a really good example of that where some companies actually use them interchangeably. As a matter of fact, some data scientists may be doing very simple Excel work at one company, while at another company, someone with the title of data analyst may actually be creating machine learning models. Ordinarily, that would be the other way around. But at some companies, especially smaller or mid-sized companies, it's not unusual to have employees take on responsibilities that are outside of the traditional scope of their role, or at least outside of the scope of what the job title suggests. Apart from that, it's also tough because the job title you're assigned may not actually accurately reflect what it is that you do. And it's for both of those reasons that I'd argue that there should be some degree of flexibility. The main question you should ask yourself is, can you justify your claim to a certain job title? In other words, can you defend what you've put in your resume if asked in an interview? From that logic, you have two options. Use the actual job title you were given that's fairly defensible because you were formally given that job title. And second, of course, is use a job title that accurately reflects what you do despite the formal title you've been given. Now, of course, on that second option is what we all care about here. If you're thinking of a particular job title that more accurately reflects what you do, I'd recommend going to LinkedIn, Glassdoor, really any job board, simply look up the job title that you have in mind, and then you go to the job postings for that job title. Review those descriptions and see if those descriptions reflect what you do. Are the requirements of those roles the same or similar to what it is that you do? I'd recommend you look at multiple job postings, of course, maybe from different companies to get a really good cross section of what other companies are saying about this particular job title. And if you wanted one more reference point, you can of course do a Google search on the job title you're thinking of and see what comes up. Once you land on a job title, keep it and don't change it. Now that I've said all that, 
it goes without saying that this is something you do need to be careful with. For example, if you've done social media type functions as a job, you probably don't want to put accountant as a job title. If for whatever reason you may be interested in accounting jobs, obviously can't do that. But let's say if your formal title and role was SEO manager, the title would suggest that you spend pretty much all of your time on search engine optimization activities. But if SEO was just actually part of your job, and really you spent the majority of your time doing digital marketing activities, maybe you also took on social media management, email campaigns, online advertising, I'd say it'd be perfectly appropriate to put digital marketing manager as a job title in your resume instead of just SEO manager. So long as you can justify that title in a concrete way with actions and responsibilities that were really in your scope. And you can talk about it at length in an interview setting. If you can do all that, then it's certainly an option. As a hiring manager, when posting a job, I'm going to have a list of general requirements or even preferences around level of education, skills, work experience. And when looking at resumes, I'm going to have certain keywords in my mind. Of course, there may be a tool that a company uses like an applicant tracking system, but even once I receive resumes, I'm gonna be looking at what those resumes have and I'm gonna be keying in on specific words, specific terms. And all the little headlines for your work experience are really it's your, your job titles. If you would just say one of your job titles to more accurately reflect what you did and the job title that you had made the adjustment to is what I'm looking for in the role that I posted, that's gonna help you stand out more. And it's going to help me more quickly identify your experience as experience that is relevant to what I'm looking for. So long as you're honest and truthful about your experiences and the job title matches all that, everyone wins. And if you're not honest and truthful, then it's certainly gonna come out in an interview and not in a good way. So certainly exercise good judgment when it comes to your job title. But maybe not everyone agrees with my position. So I'll put this question out to my audience. When is it okay to actually change your job title? Or is it even actually okay to do in the first place? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, if the roles that you're interested in have very little to do with your prior work experience, then obviously you can't and shouldn't change any of your job titles to try to fit that. But one really good option to help boost your profile is earning verifiable certificates or certifications through online courses. For just about any subject you can think of, there's probably a course for it. So make sure to check out my other content where I talk at length about some of my favorite online learning platforms, including Coursera, or even my content where I talk about online degrees. There's a lot of ways to fill in the gaps through education that will allow you to get your career to where you wanna go. So with that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.